if it works uh, on this <coughs> okay. uh, box. Yeah. Log in. Current DDM 362 live classes. Hmm. Yeah, so it doesn't let yes, you just but, click. Yes, but in the past, I remember that once I... I it was able to to tap and and to link it direct. So sometimes I'm driving the like to listen to the lesson, or sometimes I cannot speak where the like to listen to the guys. It's impossible. Right, right. So as you can see, you cannot copy the link. You cannot copy the link. You cannot get the link to tap and go to the address, and you cannot copy. So you have it's very difficult to when you're really smart if you have it to tap all the to digit all the address to text all the address. Yeah, this is a the reason we use box is because if I send it on Gmail, if I send it to email, if I send it to too many people, it gets yes, spammed. I understand. I understand. But I I, I guarantee you that um, in the beginning of the course. I tap it, it, and it work it. Hmm. And other thing, in the Windows 10, the the box does not sync. I have to go to to to, to box login, but the the my my icon does not sync. It should sync. I have a folder specifically for that. And every time I have to log in because this update is not automatically. It should because in the cell phone it's automatically. When I go to Box app, it automatic automatically I have all the lessons there. But in the Windows 10, it's impossible. It doesn't work. It does not update. I don't know if it, if it involves a tap or something like this. Right. But so these two points I'd like you to tell you to consider about. Okay, um, I just fixed it. Log okay. into your cell phone again. Okay. I'm and trying. then when you log in, you're gonna see uh, it says DDM Live box note. Do you see that? Okay, I'm logging right now. Okay, I'm going there. Okay, box. Okay. And there's now, a file that says DDM Live dot box note. Hi everybody, I'll be with you in a minute. We have a, a problem here. Can you see it? It says DDM Live Box Note. Okay. And click on that and you'll see the link. Let me see it just a minute. Okay, I have an option. Open with Chrome or go to Meeting. Go to Meeting. Go to meet. Yes, I went. And it works. Let me see. So, so you change it. Uh, we have to use it. I think we're going to have to use a different format. Yeah. Okay. You're now, in. now I'm connected. All right. That's good information. So I'll make sure that I'll I'll, I'll tell the other teachers. There you go. I'll tell the other teachers to, to change that system. And about this app in the Windows 10 that it's not updated. Do you have a reason? What's that, Sydney? And in Windows 10, it's impossible to update the folder. No possibility. It's strange because in the cell phone, all the time it, it syncs. But what? in Windows 10 does not sync. 
Sydney, I think you should – Box has a help section. Why don't you leave a message for them, too, and ask them about that, too, okay? I don't know if I can because you have signed, not me. I mean, I, I, you, you allow me. Okay. Sydney, write down exactly what the problem is and email it to me, and then I'll ask Box, okay? Okay. okay. All right, great. Let me say hi to Vladimir, Mikiko, Marlene, George, Berta. How are you guys doing? Welcome. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Hello everybody. Hello. Have a local chain. Only Sydney, Marlene, and Berta are talking. George, oh, Mikiko, how are you, Mikiko? Good, thank you. Very good. Everybody, mute your mics. George? Yes, sir. How are you doing? How are you? Good. You look like you just woke up or something. I've been working really hard. We got lots of echo. Oh, Marlene, Mike. I didn't understand. What did you say? Mute your microphone. Thank you. Okay, good. We had echo. Vladimir, how are you doing? Good. Thank you. Good. Welcome. Um, yeah, it's been a very long week for me. Uh, I moved. You can see my background's a bit different, um, and I'm still getting set up, but I have good news. Uh, I found my microphone stand, so I'm getting our answers video and perf vi videos, the pronunciation. I'm getting all that stuff done, uh, but lots of work, and I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, today we're going to go through uh, questions, we're going to do some role play too, and I think I'll start with, hold on a second, do I want to do 57 or 59? I think I'll do 57. Yeah, we'll do 57. So, um, I'm going to break this into smaller pieces too. That's good, 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 good. Okay, we'll break this one up. Now I'm going to leave everything as it is. Okay, let me go to 357 at the very top. Let me start with Sydney was here. So I'm going to have Sydney be uh, Sydney be Jerry. We're going to skip Elaine there. Sydney be Jerry and Marlene be Holly for the very first scene. And let me get my picture out of here. Go for it, guys. Where are the napkins? What? What? Where are my mama's napkins? Two are missing. Elaine took them, didn't she? I don't know about that. Have you got any floss? You heard her. She coveted them. I bet she took them just to despite me. She's prob probably having a good laugh about it right now. Great job, guys. Very good. Lots of little marks. Marlene, there's lots of echo. Do you have headphones? No, I'm not with the headphones. And I, I, I don't, you don't hear the echoes. Oh, but we do. Yeah, for me, it is, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what, uh, do you, I think that, do you uh, think that I must put the, the microphones? No, but, but if, no? You use, if you use earphones or, or headphones, it'll take the problem away. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll take. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, and we still have the echo. I just muted her. Okay, let me go to Sydney first. Uh, Sydney, let me hit you. Get this sentence again. Have you got any flaws? Good. Got any. Have you got any floss? Have you got any? Give me a little bit more why to have you got any floss? Have you got any floss? Got any? Got any floss? Have you got any floss? Have you got any floss? One more. Have you got any floss? Not got. Got. Got any? Got any floss? Now you sound like an American. Floss. <laughs> good job. Good job. Marlene, are you back? We'll wait for her to get back. Uh, doo, 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 doo. 
while I, okay. Marlene, are you back? Well, if she's like me, she's looking for the earphones. It should be here. <laughs> I see your microphone came back on, but I don't hear an echo, so that's good. Um, ba -ba -ba -bum. Okay, I'll skip Marlene. I'll come back to Marlene in a minute. Let's go to, I'll go to the next section here. James and Elaine. Let me have uh, Vladimir be James and Mikiko be Elaine. Go for it, guys. Elaine, what are you doing in this neighborhood? Did you hide the dogs? Yeah, yeah. They're in the kitchen. Okay, quiet. What's going on? These dogs were chasing me and no cabs would stop and I had to get up the street. And I remember that you lived, the, you lived here. Why were dogs chasing you? They just don't like me. It's a long story. I mean, you know, I can tell you about it someday, but I can't tell you right now. I would ask you to stay tonight, but I only have the sofa bed and it's where I sleep. Well, we'll have to sleep head to toe. Head to toe? Head to toe. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Sorry, guys. Let me go back to Marlene. Marlene, are you there? And now I don't hear her. Say something, Marlene. All right. Marlene, I don't think headphones are going to work. Sydney, Vladimir, please mute your microphones. Marlene, let's take out the headphones. Let's go to what we were doing before. <laughs> Marlene? <laughs> okay. I'll wait for Marlene again. Let's go back to Mikiko. Mikiko, be careful with the TH. Hide the. Hide the. Hide the. Did you hide the dogs? Did you hide the dogs? Great job. One more time. The dogs? The dogs? Did you hide the dogs? Did you hide the dogs? Good. TH, even a little more TH is okay. Did you hide the dogs? That was really nice. Vladimir, say this word. Chin. One more. Kitchen. Yeah, perfect. Careful with the key kit. Kitchen. Kitchen. Uh, do you like to work in the kitchen? Mm, not always. <laughs> Very good. Mikiko, uh, flap tea, get off. Get off. I had to get off the street. I had to get off the street. Yeah, really good. Very good. And back to Vladimir. I would ask you to stay tonight. I would ask you to stay tonight. Great job. And it, ah, intonation. Can you figure out the intonation here? Which word needs stress? And it's where I sleep. Uh, almost. And, it, and it's where I sleep. Yes. Why is I emphasized? Because he's sleepy. Not you, right? Yeah. Yes. So I would ask you to stay tonight, but I only have the sofa bed, and it's where I sleep, not you. So, so that's the that's why the emphasis goes there. Great job, great job. Okay. Okay. Let me go back to Marlene. Marlene, are you there? Yeah. Perfect. I changed it to the computer. <laughs> and it sounds perfect. Marlene, okay. <laughs> let's be careful with the R. Where are? Where are? Good job. Okay. Where are the napkins? Where are the napkins? Great. Elaine took them. 
Elaine took them. Good. More th. Took them. Took them. Elaine took them. Elaine took them. Good. You heard her. You heard her. Perfect. One more time. You heard her. You heard her. She coveted them. She covered them. Covet. So the good pronunciation, coveted them. Covered them. It's a T. I'll make it bigger. Coveted them. Covered, covered them. Not an R. It's a T. Covet. Uh, but it's not a flat T. So, <laughs> I'm trying to say a flat T. Right. And a lot what? of people, when they try the flat T, it sounds like an R. But that's we can't do that. So let's go slow. Covered. Covered. No, you're saying ver. No. Covid. Covid. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to write that up. Covid. 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 Yes. The flap T in America is more similar to a D sound, okay? Okay. Yes, I had this this doubt. <laughs> now you saw it. <laughs> okay. She coveted them. She coveted them. Excellent job. One more time. She coveted them. Great job. Um, I bet she took them. I bet she took them. And be careful with the two. Took took them. Mm -hmm. Took them. Just I to spite me. Just to spite me. Great job. I bet she took them just to spite me. I bet she took them just to spite me. Great job. How do you say this word? Laugh. Laugh. Laugh? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> A good laugh. A good laugh. Very good, very good. And this good and this took are the okay. same. Took them. Good. Try it again. Took them. Took them. Good laugh. Good, good laugh. Great job, great job. Very good, very good. Now we're up to date. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let me go to... Uh, I got, uh, who do I have? I have George and Betitha. George and Betitha. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, George will be George. Betitha, do you want Jerry or Elaine? Here. Um, probably Jerry. All right. And I need an Elaine. Volunteer for Elaine. AI? Yes. Go for it. I'll, let me get my picture out of here. Uh, Betitha, Jerry, George, George, and Marlene, Elaine. Go for it. It sounds like all the winking got you a promotion. I know my Morgan job. He's got a lot of work to do. Hey, Elaine, your friend never woke up, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well... He was tired. He, he had some fit in his face. Listen, my cousin Hal is completely insane. She keeps calling me, calling and accusing me of stealing her napkins. Napkins? I mean, why? Why would I take her st stupid napkins? Because they were in the pockets of my jacket. They were? Yes, I was using them to spit out the mutton. 
you spit it out? I had dogs chasing me for that. I was almost mauled because of the mutton. What exactly is mutton? Um, where were we? Right here. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, okay. I don't know. I, I didn't want to find out. So, what is my jacket? Oh, I must have left it at James. Spend the night at James, didn't we? I mean, did we? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we reversed the positions so there was no fun business. Reversed positions? Yeah, you know, head to toe. So, what? Your genitals are still lining up. So what? <laughs> no, because I slept with my back to him. <laughs> Great job. Very, very good. Uh, not the best conversation, but it's an uh, excellent job. Let me go back. Okay, so George, really nice job. The ZJ, they're similar sounds. Try that again. Morgan's job. Perfect. So do the whole sentence again. I don't want Morgan's job. Great job. Very good. And Marlene, this word? Listen. Yeah, keep it not Lee, but li listen. Okay, listen. Completely insane. Completely insane. It's a sh this is a schwa. Come, come, completely insane. Completely insane. One more time. Completely in Lee and completely insane. Complete. Completely insane. Great. Sometimes your D is not strong. I, I in a couple of times. Uh, so we want to make sure. Hello. Can you hear me? Oh my God. It's okay. I can hear you. I'll take. I'll turn my video off. Now. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, so be careful with the D. We want to make sure we got a good stop sound. Stupid napkins. Stupid napkins. Great job. Very good. Bertha, your short A was perfect. You want to do it again? Um, yeah. Jack. Bing. Jack. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, I've been practicing those short A's this week a lot. The more you practice, the better you get. Super job. Thank you. And Marlene, watch the TH uh, for that. For that. Good. Even more TH. For that. For that. Good. Mauled. Mauled. Excellent job. And George, this one again. What exactly is mutton? Good. And that's, that's fine. Uh, but when you really don't know, what exactly is mutton? What exactly is mutton? Good. So what I'm, what I'm really most uh, looking for here is a flat T. What eggs? What exactly? And it, it almost sounds like, uh, like this. What exactly, what exactly... What exactly? Perfect. That was perfect. Do the whole sentence again, George. What exactly is mutton? Great job. Very good. Bertha got you on an R. Where, where is... Bingo. Where is... Um, maybe um, I should have made the contraction there, huh? Where is... Or not? Yeah. Um, so, both are fine. Uh, you... No, you... Yeah. You didn't make a contraction. It was the rolling R. Where it is? Where it is? Oh, okay. Where it is? Ping, bingo, exactly. Uh, and better get this one too. Uh, James. And like, and what's the other pronunciation? Uh, James's. Yep. And we do use both. Marlene, you also said James, which is fine. 
But if you listen to the video, they do say James's. Um, personally, I prefer the extra S, uh, but I know there are people who don't say it, and there are people who don't write it. Me too. Yeah. And it's kind of confusing because I kind of learned in that way with the James's, but then when you see all this written in and okay. the Emily or the Shane family or something, uh, they don't put the extra S's. So. And you know, there's a, there's a really interesting reason why. Um, they, be, printers, not, not, not anymore, but they used to, they used to have what they call a typesetter. And what a typesetter is, is they actually take an S and they put it into a machine. And then they, they print, okay, this is how they used to do it, you know, for hundreds of years. And they would charge by the letter. So oh. a, a lot of companies, to save money, they put the apostrophe, but they took out the extra S. So when people read it, it's still James's, but they didn't put the extra S in order to save money. Yeah, but for ESL students like me, when I'm used to James's and then it says, for example, James, I have to go the other way, then I have to come back, you know, it's kind of... Yeah, and that's why intentionally I used both. Uh, in the title sections, uh, you'll see, I don't know if it's in this one, but yeah, here I used two S's, but there's another one. I think it might have been the uh, the previous lesson where I only used one S. And that was intentional. And I was really sad because nobody asked about it. And I never remembered to talk about it until uh, it's, it's too late. <laughs> Let me go back to Marlene. Here is another D, Marlene. Just like stupid napkins, reverse positions. Reverse positions. So don't say reverse SID. I just want reverse 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 positions. Positions. Exactly. And careful with your why. Funny business. Funny business. B bit business. Funny business. Funny business. Excellent job. And also, a bit of that, that put, it's more of a schwa. It's kind of like a short eye, but schwa. Yeah, I said position, positions. Right, and we don't want pa, we want pu. Well, a little, even shorter. Yep. Positions. Sounds Positions. Perfect. It sounds really good. Positions. Lined up. Bingo. And Marlene. Yeah. This word. Cause. Because. Because. So this is a good point here. This word and this word uh, are pronounced differently. Now, uh, and let me bring it down here. So this is the standard pronunciation. If you look in the dictionary, uh, this is going to be cause. And this is, I'm sorry, this is going to be cause, and this is going to be cause. Uh, and that's why in America, we, many Americans write C-U-Z, cause, 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 which means because. Mm -hmm. And this is okay. uh, like cause and effect. So one more time, no, because I. No, no, because I. Perfect, great job, excellent job. Super. Questions on Seinfeld. We got a bunch of more people joined. I want to say hi to Alex and Guglia and Paolo. Thanks for joining me, guys. We just finished some Seinfeld. Any questions on this from anybody? I'm moving right along. Uh, whoops. Don't save. Uh, the 58 was the Rabble, Dabble, and Scrabble, and 60 was Scarily Delicious. Um, I think we'll do this one. Everybody gets a, a good chunk here. Um, and I'm going to make this into some colored sections. Uh, 
I'll start with, uh, yeah, let me start with doo -doo 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 -doo, Paolo. Paolo, I want you to do the top part here, and then Guria, the part in yellow, and Alex, this white part, and then we'll go back down uh, alphabetically with Betitha doing step two and so on and so forth. So let me start with uh, Paolo. Start us off. We can see the ah. <laughs> Thank you. So once again, uh, Paolo this section, Guria this section, Alex this section, and then from there, I'll call the people. It'll be Bertha, George, Marlene, Makiko. We'll go like that. So, Paolo, start us off, please. Okay. The rabble, dabble, and scrabble. <laughs> and scrabble. Players earn points by constructing words with letters, title, letter titles and placing them on the grid. Each letter has different point values. There are 100 letter titles and only one letter tile can fit in a great space. Great job, you and the bird. Guria. <laughs> you will need two to four players, a deck of Scrabble tiles, a Scrabble board, and a pen and a paper. Step one, have each player remove one tile out of the tile bag. The player that gets the letter closer to the letter A goes first. Each player then draws seven tiles from the tile bag. Alex. The first player begins the game by placing a word on, on the star square at the center of the board, either horizontally, horizontally, horizontally or vertically. These stars act as a double word score. Great job. Better the step two. Step two, tally each, each word scored by adding point values for each letter in the word. Point values range from zero points for a blank tile to 10 points for the letters Q and Z. <clears throat> Use a paper and a pen to keep track of the word scores for each player. Some squares on the board allow you to multiply the tiles value by two or three. Uh, George, step three. Step three. Continue playing in a counterclockwise direction around the board. During each turn, a player can decide to place a word on the board, exchange tiles, or pass. If a player decides to exchange tiles, replace them with an equivalent number to the tile bag. If they choose this option, they cannot do anything else on that turn. Very good. Uh, Marlene, I want you to do up to here. Marlene, this section. Step 4. After placing a word on the board, draw an, an equal number of new tiles from the tile bag so that each player always has seven tiles. Step 5. Continue playing. All letters played must touch at least one letter that is already on the board to form at least one complete word. When one oh, player good, has... That's good. That's good. Good. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Makiko. Makiko, I want you to do all this. When, when one player has used all of their tiles or no one can make any more words, the game ends. If a player uses all seven of their tiles, in one turn, they add a 50-point bonus to their word score. Step 6. Consult a dictionary only if you are challenging another player's word. If the word isn't in a dictionary, the player loses their turn. And let's go to Sydney for this section. 
It's Paolo. No, no, no. I was, I, Paolo, we did it. Okay, please, uh, Sydney, go ahead. Okay. If the award is allowed, the challenger loses their turn. Step seven, calculate each player's final score by adding up the points from all their word scores. Then subtract the sum of their unplayed letters. If one player has used up all of the letters, add the sum of everyone else's unplayed letters to their score. The player with the highest score wins. Very good. And Vladimir, Vladimir, I want you to finish us up here. Did you know, invented in uh, the 1930s, Scrabble did not achieve widespread popularity until the early 90, 1950s. Then, according to legend, the president of Messis played the game on vacation and other and then ordered it for his store. Great job. Lots of little points for everybody. Let me go back to the top and start with Paolo. Uh, Paolo, really nice job. Do the title again, please. Yep. The Rebel, Devil, and Scrabble. Good. Do you know what it means? Mm. What it means? We can do a little thing in Scrabble. Not bad. So, what is the uh, rebel? What is the rebel? Rebel is the. I think devil is the people. Rebel. No. I, I don't remember. No, yeah. rebel is the people. Yeah, yeah. rebel is the people. The rebel. rebel. Like rebel. you and me, farmers. Yeah, farm. We are far Yay, we're farmers. <laughs> and to dabble means to do this and that, to do a little bit, yeah. and of course, scrabble. Oh, rebel, dabble, and scrabble. Yeah, I do a little. I talk. I I, I talk this to to Bertha earlier. Say it again, please. The rebel, dabble, and scrabble. Excellent job. And mm -hmm. do this section one more time. Please. Each letter has different point value. I need more a. Uh. Has a different. Has no? a different. Has a. I'm not hearing enough. Has I'm, what I, I'm also almost hearing has different has different. <coughs> oh yeah 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 has a different yeah each letter has a different point value again <coughs> each letter has a different has a different point value perfect perfect great job thank you sir Paulo Sydney mute your mic please Guria this word Crabble. Good. Do you play Scrabble? No, but I wish. <laughs> Try the next word. Especially if if it will be the, uh, by the net with you, for example, with our <laughs> DDM team. It would there be you go. Yeah. Uh, out of the tile bag. Good. So tile, we can actually, I, I, I prefer that you're more clear, so you can do like a diphthong, tile. Tile. Yes, yes. Out of the tile bag. Uh -huh. Out of the, out of the, uh -huh. out of the tile bag. One more. Out of the tile bag. The letter closest to the letter A. The letter closest to the letter A. Good. More, more R. The letter closest to the letter A. The letter closest to the letter A. Good. And the next word? Draws. Good. Draws seven. Draws seven. And then uh, do the whole thing there. Uh -huh. Draws seven tiles from the tile bag. Again, remember tile. Draws tile. seven tiles from the tile bag. Draw seven tiles from the tile bag. Good. Your tiles were really good. Draws. Draws. Mm -hmm. I'm hearing them O. No O. Draws. Mm -hmm. A W. Draws. No. You, so I'm hearing a draws, and I don't want that. Put your hands like this. Uh, draws. Uh -huh. Okay. I get it. Draws. 
Yes. No. <laughs> That's right. Draw seven tiles from the tile bag. Excellent job. I got it. Alex, fair or fur? First. The first player. The first player. Great job with this. Horizontally. Horizontally. Or vertically. Or vertically. Yes. Don't we don't care about this syllable. I know. Horizontally we do pronounce it, but vertically we don't. Vertically. 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 Hi Camila. I mean, I'll say hi, coaching. Hi. <laughs> oh, she said it. <laughs> this star. This star. This star. This star. Great job. Great job. Good job, Dad. Uh, next. <laughs> now, uh, this is Bertha. Bertha, I'm getting you on some R's here. I can't believe it. I am. Um... Yesterday and today they came back. <laughs> as soon as I am, my uh, short eyes are good, my arms are back. Yeah, it's like whack-a-mole. Yeah. For each uh, for each letter. Next one. Uh, for a uh, some value. More, more. Like your uh, what was the other word you did earlier? It was perfect. Um, um, that one, uh, oh, so it's your end? Yeah. Value. Yeah, yeah, value, value. You, you, had, jacket. you had another word that you were just saying. It jacket. 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 Jacket value. Jacket value. That jacket value is also. You're good. So, yeah, yeah. You're, you're, some words, and this is true for, for me in Korean, too. Some words your short A is always perfect. Jacket is your word. And then some words, you, you tend to go back to an ah sound for value and, and just yeah. practice. In this case, I, I, I didn't know the... Ah. You didn't know it was a short A. The vowel sound. I thought it was... Yeah. Yep, that makes sense. All right. Uh, yeah, the next... I'm confused. Uh, remember, I asked you the other day, it was a, a short O, a AW, and I didn't realize that it was a short O, so <laughs> it's, I didn't know it was a short A, so I'm and, glad. Yes, yep. Yeah. It's, it's frustrating having to try and remember all that stuff. Oh, I know, I know. All right, George. George, you did a really That's why I come to you. And and then and you have to, and you have to. Bertha, everybody, uh goes has a lot of hangouts with uh, other coaches too. And the more you do it, the better, the better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because that's the only way. Maybe. It is, yeah, yeah. Okay, George. Um you're you're doing really good. Your actual pronunciation is good. Just these three words, uh actually two words, I'm gonna get you. Um, but your and your linking is much better, but it, you still need to work a little bit more. The problem is, is you're reading. Of course, when you're reading, it's hard to do it. So once again, it's just practice, practice. Um, so I actually, I'm going to, I'm going to want you to do this sentence, this entire sentence again. Before that though, let's go to this word. How do you say this word? Exchange. A little bit more. Exchange. Exchange. Try and give me more S. And I know the S and CH come together, but try and give me more S. Exchange. Exchange. I liked it. Do the whole sentence again. Not too fast, but smooth. During each turn, a player can decide to place a word on the board. Exchange files or pass. Not bad. Now, repeat after me. During each turn, 
During each turn. Quicker. During each turn. During each turn. A player can decide. A player can decide. To place a word on the board. 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 Word on the. To place a word on the board. Good. Exchange tiles. Exchange tiles. S. X. Exchange tiles. Or pass. Or pass. More or. Or pass. Or pass. If a player decides to exchange tiles. Uh, if a player decides to exchange exchange tiles. Good, good. Again. If a player decides to exchange tiles. Good job. An equivalent number. Equivalent number. And an equivalent. An equivalent number. From the tile bag. From the tile bag. Yeah, and suddenly your TH has got bad. From the tile bag. From the tile bag. From the. From the. If from they the choose. Bag. If they, if they choose. They cannot. They cannot. Good job. Very good. Very good. Yeah, you're doing really well. Exchange was screwing you up. Equivalent. And your THs in general were good, but suddenly they got pretty bad. Okay? Okay. Next was, no, Marlene. Marlene. Hi, Marlene. Hi. Draw an equal. Draw an equal. Draw an equal. Draw an equal. That's, I'll take that. That was a strong W, but I'll, that's okay. I'll accept that. Draw an equal number. Draw an equal number. Great. Con con continue. Continue. All letters played must touch at least. All letters played must touch at least. Perfect. One more. All letters played must must touch at least. <laughs> Again. This time. <laughs> All letters played must touch at least. 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 On the board. On the board. To form. To form. On the board to form. On the board to form. No, put them together. On the board to form. On the board to form. So right now I'm hearing on the board to form and I the d t I want those together. So you gotta go to the D stop and hit a T. On the board to perform I'm sorry, to form. On the board to form. On the board to form. Yes. On the board to form. On the board to form. Complete word. Completed words. Come, come. Continue playing. Come. come. Completed words. Go back. Continue playing. Continue playing. Complete word. Complete word. Complete word. Very good. Great job. Thank you. Nikiko, a 50-point bonus. A 50-point bonus. They add a 50-point bonus to their word score. They add a 50-point bonus to their word score. Good. So this is one noun. It needs to be tight. A 50-point bonus. A 50-point bonus. 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 Yes, yes, yes. Bonus. 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 Kun. Kun. Consult a dictionary. Dictionary. Dic oh, yes, yes. Dictionary. Confectionary. Confectionary. Consult a dictionary. Consult a dictionary. If you're challenging. If you're challenging. Challenge. 
challenging. If you're challenging. If you're challenging. Great job. Isn't in the. Is it? it isn't. Good. So perfect. Isn't in the. Isn't in the. In the. In the. Isn't. Stop sound. Isn't in the. Isn't in the. Okay, you're canceling the th, which is okay. Um, but I I don't want you to yet. Let's keep the th. Isn't in the. Isn't in the. In the. In the. Isn't in the. Isn't in the. Good. Now let's cancel. Isn't in the. Isn't in the. In the. <laughs> nice job. Thank you. Let me go to Sydney. Yeah. Calculate. Calculate. More short A. Cal. Calculate. Yes. Calculate California. Calculate California. Uh-uh. Cal. Cal. Calculate California. Calculate California. Ca okay, good. Adding up. Adding up. Good, good. And once again, especially you, especially students in Brazil, I want you guys more NG. Adding. Adding up. Adding up. Again. Adding, adding up. No. <laughs> adding up. Perfect. I'm pressing my tongue down. <laughs> I'm holding my jaws. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. This is, yeah, it, it's a challenge. And you guys, I'm not joking. Uh, when I was in a choir, our teacher, in order to get the right pronunciation, our teacher made us do things. Hold our teeth, hold our lips, push our cheeks for proper pronunciation. The reason was we need to hear... The, the You know, when you record yourself and you listen to your voice, it sounds strange, right? Well, yeah. that's what you have to do. You need to train yourself to hear your voice. It's very difficult. It takes lots of work. You're doing fine. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Subtract the sum. Subtract the sum. Good. One more time. Subtract the sum. Subtract the sum. Of their. Of their. Air. Of their. Yes. Of their player. Of their player. Good. Again. Of their player. Of their player. Again. Add the sum. Add the sum. Perfect. Highest score. Highest score. Don't worry about the T. We can keep it. That was really good. But let's make it more natural. Highest score. Highest score. Yes, yes. Make the S even stronger. Highest score. Highest score. Great. Great job. Vladimir's doing a really good job. Uh, I'm going to get you on your Vs first of all, Vladimir. Invented in. Invented in. Good. Invented in. Invented in. Good. Invented. So I'm going to ask you a question, Vladimir. When you, so this is your bottom lip, and these are your upper teeth. Okay. Now, when you make the V sound, if you concentrate on a V sound, is your upper teeth here? Yeah. Here, or, oh. Here, that's one, two, three. When you concentrate on a perfect V, where is it? Uh, in the first position. Good, good. What about the F? F? In the first. Okay, that's a problem. They're different. So once, and this is everybody, when I'm speaking quickly, it's the same thing. But if I'm teaching the V sound and the F, sound, 
it's different. And Americans will do that too. For example, um, what am I saying? Watch my lips, everybody. What am I saying? I love four. Yes, that's right. I love four. Yes. And so I tell people uh, pronunciation can be seen in many cases. And here's a case where you could see the V and the F are different. The V was number one and the F was number three. Okay? Okay. Now, so let's do this again. Invented in. Invented in. Great job. Invented in. Now we've got a tough one. Achieve widespread. Achieve widespread. That was really good. Very good. Achieve widespread. Achieve widespread. Nice job. Uh, on vacation. On, vac vac on vacation. We have two pronunciations. Vacation. Vacation. And vacation. Vacation. Yeah, yeah, great. Good job. Now, let's go back here to this one, too. Macy's. Macy's. More A. Macy's. Macy's. Good, good, good. If we want two syllables, Macy's. Macy's. If you go to America, uh, Macy's is a very common uh, shopping place. Very, very common. Ordered. Order. Yeah, keep that R. If you don't have the R, uh, it, it can sound like odor, odor, like a smell, odor. So, ordered. Ordered. Good. Now, let's go to the numbers here. Say this again. Nine, uh, 1930s. Okay, and this one? 1950s. Good. Your pronunciation, again, is very clear, and everybody will have a, a, an easy time understanding you. However, Americans don't say it like that when speaking quickly. Uh, we say 1930s and 19, oops, 1950s, 50s. Okay, so try it again. 1930s, 1950s. 1930s, 1950s. That was perfect. Again, you guys, you can say 50s, no problem. It's perfect. It's excellent. But if you listen to the news and stuff like that, uh, 50, 50 is pretty common, but 70, 80, 90, um, almost always a D. So the simple, if you want a rule, the simple rule is 13, 19, all a T, 30, 90, all a D. That's the simple rule, but rules are always broken. Great job. Everybody did a really nice job. Questions on anything? Um, Questions? Beretha first, then Paolo. Go ahead, Beretha. No, first Paolo, because mine is not related to the lesson. Okay, Paolo, go ahead. Mine, too. <laughs> to the lesson first, because we, we want to uh, save time. Debo. 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 Go ahead, Sydney. Debo. Debo. Rebo, I understood. Uh, Rebo uh, in Debo. Debo. Ah, okay. So you understand Rabble, right? Yes. Um, it's like rebel is, is like a redneck. Yeah, it's actually like a peasant. Yes, peasant. Yeah. Okay. Uh, to yeah. Dab dabble's a verb. To dabble. To dabble. To dabble means to to do something a little. Okay. Um, so I dabble in baking. I bake a little. I can't make something really special, really difficult, but, you know, I can make a cake. I can make, you know, brownies. I can make bread. I can do the basic things. So not a professional, but a little bit. Not a professional, but it's okay. It's not bad. Okay? Okay. So is, and you are not an expert. You are a beginner. You help yourself. It's, 
It's actually more than a beginner. I would say it's, do you know the word dilettante? No. I don't even know how to spell the word. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, it's actually a, a dilettante would be a, a pretty good definition. It's not a beginner. It's not an expert, but you have some confidence in your area. Okay. It's kind of, it's kind of, dilettante, when we say dilettante, it's bragging, okay? When we say dabble, it's modest. But actually, the level is about the same. Okay. Does that help? Okay. Yeah, sure. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, very good. Other questions about any uh, DDM, DDM assignment, then, then we'll go to Berta and Paolo. Paolo. And I need to say hi to Arslan. Arslan, how are you, or Gokhan, how are you doing? I am fine, Koshen. How are you? Ah, oh, I hear your voice. It sounds great. Very good. You, you're a little bit late, but it's never too late. Yes, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Excellent. I'm, I'm glad to have you. Um, we, what time is it in Turkey? Did you, did you change the clocks? No, it, it's not uh, 9 p.m. Okay. This is not only for Gokhan, but for everybody. We, in America, Europe already did, but in the U.S., we change our clocks tomorrow. So next week, for me, the starting time is the same, 12 o'clock, but for you, it might be different. So not next week, but two weeks later. Make sure you double-check your clocks so that you're not late or early, okay? Are you going to change the schedule? No, my, so for me, it's all the same. Okay. Tonight, so tonight I'll go to bed and every morning I wake up about 6.30. But tomorrow I'll wake up at 5.30. And I'll be like, wow, what happened? Uh, but so the, it's with the smartphone, everything's automatic. So I don't have to actually touch any clocks. Okay. I mean, say in 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 your in in the box, you have a schedule with the time. Same. The same. So, uh, for me, twelve o'clock Chicago, ten o'clock LA. That won't change. Okay, LA the same. Not fall back. No. So this is why it's so confusing. So everybody. Um, Next week, Friday, double check your time and LA time because it's, it will have changed. Your clocks will have changed, will seemingly have changed, but mine seemingly will not. This is so confusing, I know. That's why I put the onus on you. You guys figure it out. Sunday in America, are the clocks change. And I'll tell you in the lessons too. Okay, let me go to Berta. Berta, what was your question? Well, it was a question about the trailer that I was driving uh, yesterday. Uh, do you call those trailers or trucks? Ah, trailer. Yeah, you call them trailer? You mean that a, a truck pulls, right? Yeah, I was driving behind this uh, truck I but I think I made a mistake I think they're called trailer because when I was living in Los Angeles I think I heard trailer okay so I'll, I'll just go to Google and in America when we say trailer uh, this is what we imagine Oops. because a truck is the, like a pickup truck right yeah, so this is the first image oh. is this. This is the first image of a trailer. And the, yeah. sec the second image could be this. But what we, in this situation, we say this is, whoops, this is the semi-truck and this is the semi-trailer. Okay? So Ooh. truck and trailer. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So the pickup truck is just the regular. Yes. Uh, so, yeah. So a, a pickup truck, that's a good question. 
is this, like your F-150. Yeah. Do you, you have a business? Do you have a truck? No, I have a van. A van, okay. Yep, and just for everybody. Like a Chevy van? Yeah. Yep. GMC or Chevy? Uh, Chevy. Yep. Chevy van are most most popular. Very good. Yeah. And then my favorite, the semi. Ah, oh, I love these. They're huge. Yeah. Well, that was my question. Thank you. Yep. Paolo, go ahead. Same. Same. Uh, go ahead. This word, this word trailer can be two things. For example, short movie. Is it a trailer too? A short what? A short movie. A trailer. Uh, yeah, yes, a short movie. Uh, well, it's an uh, introduction to a movie. So a, so, a movie trailer. We call it a, a movie trailer. A movie trailer is when you go to the theater, before your movie, they show you, in the future, this movie. That's a trailer. Yes. Okay, but but I I, I use it, I cannot use only trailer. I'm going to see the trailer. No, you can. If we're talking about movies, we understand. But okay. if we're talking about trucks, and then you say, watch the trailer. Yes. <laughs> we're going to have two different ideas. Okay. Okay. To be more oh, specific, I use movie trailer. Yes. I watch, I watch the movie trailer. Yep. Okay, thank you. Actually, a two different ideas because a trailer, you can live in a trailer too, right? A trailer home, yes. Yeah. And this is a trailer home. These are, these are pretty cheap, very cheap actually. Um, and in America, they don't have a good image. It's, it's like, a, like a slum, um, but not always. But the stereotype, the image is very negative, uh, very bad, uh, and uh, not good. And that's, that's kind of the image. But, yeah, these are – and what they'll have is they'll have a trailer home park, and generally you'll see many people together. Now, these people live there, and the idea is they're not – very wealthy. Uh, they're very, quite poor. Some places they'll have a trailer park uh, next to a, a camp, or I'm sorry, a river or a lake. And that's for camping. In that case, it's okay. But as a house, um, it's pretty negative. It's almost, uh, in America, it, it would be like a, a slum. Uh, this The image really is like this. Obviously, it's different, uh, but that's the idea. I think in Brazil, favalo, is that right? Favela. What is it? Favela. Favela, favela, yeah. So that's, that's the idea. Yeah, but in the United States, at least the, tra the favela, favela kind house, has wheels <laughs> uh you know what uh the poor in america uh live very well not all of them but you know in general the poor in america uh i i you know we don't want anybody to be poor of course we want everybody to you know have a chance at success and to live a good life and get good education blah 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 but compared to uh other countries uh the poor in America are pretty rich. But think about this. This is, this is one of the poorest types of neighborhoods. But look, everybody's got a nice clean car. I mean, everybody's got satellite TV. The street's clean. It's pretty good. May I help? Uh, may I ask a question? Yes. Uh, do the government Im Im impose the car tax or house tax for the trailer house? So, um, no. What they do in America is they have a property tax. So, um, 
And then they, they, they make the tax based on the value of the land. So um, if the land and the house, so let's say the land is $100,000, but then there's a house, and if you sold the house, it's like $250,000. They make the tax based on the land and the house together, okay? So if it's just land, the tax is this much. If it's a land and a house, the tax can actually go up. So if you have land, you have to pay tax. If you have a trailer on your land, it probably doesn't increase the value of the land because a trailer is not a good thing. So the tax is probably the same. If you have a building on the land, then the tax is probably going to be higher. They don't have to pay that tax for the land. So most people who live in a trailer home, they rent. And anybody who rents doesn't have to pay tax. So you, the rent means rent the monthly. The so somebody else owns it. Somebody else owns it. So like like an apartment, like renting an apartment. People rent a trailer home. Um, renting a trailer. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So they don't have to pay anything only rent, no taxes. The owner of the land, he or she has to pay the taxes. Mm, thank Shane. you. That's good idea. Shane. Yeah. Shane. Yeah. They you... only charge like $200 a month for the land. And uh, actually the people own those trailers. But they get charged like $200 a month. It depends on the area. And then they don't have to pay taxes, you know, but those trailers have the value as a car. Yeah, yeah, they're, and they're, they're really, uh, if you don't have, I, you know, I don't know, we have a very negative image, uh, but, you know, I guess if you're young and you uh, have a family, maybe it's okay. I don't know, but yeah, you have to start somewhere, I guess. Sure. Yeah. I have a doubt about the verb to, to rent. For instance, see, I rent a house. What do you understand? I'm the owner or I'm renting? No. Uh, if you rent a house, that means somebody else owns it and you okay. have a one-year contract or a two-year contract and every month you pay. Uh, okay, I know. I know. But suppose I'm the owner. How do I say? I rent out a house? Yeah, I rent out a house or I have rental property. Okay. And uh, a curiosity, how many is the percentage of the welfare of the population in the U.S.? 30% of mean, the population? You mean people that receive? Yes, who serve as a welfare, yes. Um, unfortunately, it, it is huge now. Uh, that's a good question. I don't know, but I know that it's huge. It's really bad. Uh, percent on government assistance. Oh, my God. 49% of Americans. Okay, my question is, so two Americans, one work and the other receive, that is it? If you, if you have 49%, it's... Um, is it? Okay, 49% also. Yeah, it's right? 2011. 2011, nowadays I know. Okay, 21%. It's too high for the 90%. Okay, now wait a second. This is government assistance, not rental assistance. So let's go, let's change this. Uh, percent of American home welfare ownership. I'm going to go home ownership. Okay, so 62.9% of Americans own their own home. Okay, but my question, how many people receive welfare? 49%. Strange. It's huge. And that's recent. 
that's the last couple of years. It's unbelievably, it's, yeah. It's, so one American work and the other does not work? For, for a, it, it's like if one work the other does not work for 90%, it's too high, it's impossible. Okay. Uh, the no, population not, of USA. This is, this is the, and this is the thing. Uh, uh, the number of Americans not in workforce. One third are not in the workforce. This does not include children. Of course children don't work. It does not include grandmas. This means this many Americans are not working. So every other American who's working is paying for these people. Well, so my my taxes and Betitha's taxes and George's taxes, um, unless you have a good accountant to help you, uh, we're paying huge taxes. That's why my my health insurance every month is now over a thousand dollars a month. And these people, these 94 million people, their health insurance is zero. I'm paying for their, their health insurance, not the government. Um, so it's, it's really bad. It really is bad. Uh, and the, the government cannot continue to do this. Something's going to happen. The system is broke. Okay, but what do you call welfare? Government assistance. Okay, the same, okay. Yep. That can be housing, food, education, uh, um, unemployment, medical, all of that stuff. If the government gives it to you, that's government assistance. Some people get 100%, some people get 30%. You know, it's different, uh, but yeah. But the median is how many percent, 30 percent, that you pay in taxes per year? Okay, see, now this is, a, this is another thing. Okay. Uh, the tax system in America is crazy, and Bertha and George probably know if you have an accountant, you can save a lot on taxes. Um, if you have no accountant, at least... 30%, probably 40, up to 50% you have to pay in taxes. But if you have an accountant, you can drop that number a lot. Um, you have to pay the accountant a lot of money, but, and I'm sure Bertha has a business, George I think is in finance, so they probably have a good income, they probably have an accountant to help them, and uh, my, for me, I, I don't have a big income, but I, it's a business, so I do have an accountant, and uh, he saves me money, um, and I'm lucky. Okay. Thank you. It's a, broke, it's a broken system. It's unfair. I know that. Oh. Yeah. Who's going to win this coming Tuesday? Uh, it's... it's Man, I, I hate to say it, uh, but it looks like Hillary has a lot of problems. Um, we, this is a, a sad situation in America. We have two people that most people don't like. Most people don't like her. Most people don't like him. We have two other candidates that have no chance. So the fact of the matter is it's going to be either Hillary or Donald um, and it looks like Hillary has a lot of problems in the media the last couple of days. Who knows? Uh, my choice is a secret, but um, I tend to be party, which means I'm Republican, but Donald Trump is not a Republican. Uh, he's his own person. So that's a pro it's a problem for a lot of people. But my question is, how did they arrive to this position? Uh, 
Ah, uh, there's a good quote. Uh, when, um, what was it? Oh, I forgot the quote. Imagine if, imagine if U.S. considered the thought of democracy. So this is the right. people. Imagine in Brazil when you have to. If I, you, okay, have, I, you I, have these two guys, imagine in other countries. Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't know the situation in Brazil, but I, this is the idea. In America, um, we have what they call the political elite. And the political elite, ever since uh, the 1980s, have gotten stronger and stronger and stronger. And that's why people recognized Bill Clinton, George Bush, uh, Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, uh, the other Bush, there's no difference. These guys, they're all the same. And that's when people are realizing it doesn't matter, Republican or Democrat, it's the same people and they stay there forever. So people are really getting sick of this system and that's why we have the extreme. And he's, Donald Trump is crazy. Uh, he's the extreme, but it's, it's like it's this old system of crap or a new system of tyranny. So if you, it's, it's like the French Revolution. I mean, there's no middle ground. It's this or that. And if one person starts winning, everything goes in that direction. And that's kind of what's happening in America. People are very frustrated. And it's, 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 it's scary for a lot of people. Trump's, Trump's wife about her English, how much score that you're going to give her? Uh, to be honest, I don't care at all, and I've never heard her speak. Uh, okay. Yeah, um, I know that she's from Europe, um, so I assume her English is not too bad because European languages tend to be uh, compatible with English compared to Asian languages. So I assume it's fine. Uh, I'm, you know, I hate this first lady crap or first man, whatever. We're, we're, we don't elect them, but you're right. They're part of the public life. I have no idea though, George. Okay. Okay. Only one question. If you are an employee, do you have it? You must have an account or it's impossible. No. Yeah, you, you can, but you're not going to save anything. Uh, as okay. an employee, they yes. get your taxes right away. It's sad. Yes. So the, so no no escape. No, it's almost impossible to escape. So why everybody has a business in U.S. Yeah, that's one reason. So you as a, a person, you can be a, a company something like this you have a business it's not it's that easy. it's not that easy okay. um you so, and for an employee how many percent the percentage of the the income it depends on the it depends on the income but minimum 30 percent minimum 25 22 percent i think maximum 51 percent wow 51 i'm, I'm checking Oh, geez, it's so crazy. Yeah, uh, here we go, tax brackets. All right, 2015. You can just search this. Uh, and that there's more. So, oh, there you go, 39, oh, maximum is 39%. So minimum okay. 10, maximum 39. Okay. And you have no health insurance. You have to pay for health insurance. If, if you work for a company, they almost always provide health insurance. But as an, a, a business owner, I have to buy my own. 
Okay. But in an emergency, and you have a traffic accident, where are you going to? If I don't have insurance, that's a big problem. So the people will die in, on the street? America has a law that they must accept a patient. Um, and then at that point, they'll take your income. They'll take your uh, wages. Uh, so if you own a business, they'll, they'll get their money. It might take 20 years, but they'll get it. Okay. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you very much. I do have another hangout at 6 p.m., so I hope that if you, if you want, you can join. I'll tell you, um, I, to get people more of a chance to speak, uh, I might do a different one. I might go quicker. I might not have as many roles, uh, but we'll do that. We'll figure that out at 6 o'clock. Thank you so much, you guys. Bye-bye. Okay. Thank, Thank you. I'm going to... Uh, Bye -bye. Bye -bye. I'm sending you an email. Great. Explain Got it. what happens in Windows 10. Okay. Got it. Uh, yeah. Explain the details about the link. Excellent. Tell the guys. The, I will. The coaches. I will. About yeah. the, the link. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Shane, sorry. I have a question. Go ahead, Vladimir. Uh, it's about. Uh, a new price for DDM. Uh, so right now, I, Vladimir, when did you join? I joined uh, at October 12th. Okay. So you are, but, so you joined October 12th. You joined live. Yeah, yeah. I have some trouble, troubles with PayPal. Uh, when I... Uh, Buy uh, DDM, bought DDM. Uh, Life uh, in PayPal create, create uh, creates uh, regular regular payments, right? Uh, but uh, in first week, when I saw uh, the what, well, when I saw all of this, I uh, thought, what is what is that? And I some uh, a bit uh, upset and cancel canceled uh, regular payments because I think uh, thought uh, oh no no it's not for me but uh, in the second week I think uh, I thought hmm, not bad and I uh, I can't uh, buy new DDM life because uh, it's gone because uh, I will be wait uh, November 12 and now and now it's gone okay so you need yeah. you need a new link right right okay Vladimir don't because worry I want to continue continue uh, excellent with you so send send us an email and on Monday uh, they'll send you uh, a link because right now on the website we took everything down and the price is going up but so send us an email and and tell us what you paid and we'll make sure that we give you uh, the same price we'll, we won't increase the price okay okay what uh, should I write so just say um, uh, could you send me the DDM live link for my price and I will and then uh, and then what's the date the November 12th okay uh, I'll I don't have a pen can you believe that oh, here we go uh, and I'll make sure that uh, uh, we, we figure that out and so that you'll be okay okay thank you you like the classes it's it's fun. <laughs> Good. That's what I like to hear. I just muted Sydney. <laughs> Very good. So send us an email, and on Monday uh, we'll we'll make sure that you get taken care of. Okay. Okay. Thank Any you. Any problems? Let me know. 
Спасибо. Владимир, where are you from? From Russia. Okay, yeah. So I, I wanted to make, because I know Ukraine, Ukraine says it different. What did they say? Дякую. Yeah, дякую. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Дякую. Thanks a lot. Take care, you guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, Shane. Have a nice day. Take care, Sydney.